Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about a new function in perplexity called perplexity tasks. And the thing that's interesting about uh, this new tool, basically, is you can set up and automate certain, uh, you know, queries and inquiries that you have and have it automatically um, generate a response for you that can be waiting for you uh, in perplexity. So, it, for instance, if you do a search every day on a particular topic or on a number of topics, you can set up a variety of different tasks to do those searches um, and have them waiting for you. So, for instance, you could create a newsletter uh, that would be just waiting for you in perplexity every morning, and you don't have to sit around waiting for, you know, deep research to finish uh, coming up with an answer, which as anybody who's used Perplexity's deep research knows it can take quite a while, sometimes 10 or 20 minutes. You never really know. So um, this is a good way just to kind of get things a little bit more automated in your life. <music> Here we are in Perplexity Pro. It's my understanding that this function is only available right now in Perplexity Pro. So you do have to have a Pro account in order to use it. But it wouldn't surprise me at all if this becomes available to anybody who uses Perplexity at some point. Um, it's my understanding that this is in beta right now. So um, it's not even really obvious how to find it or use it. They, they didn't make it like super intuitive. So I'll just walk you through that right now, um, sort of the process of how to set one of these up. It's really easy. Um, so you just wanna go down to your icon here in the bottom, click on it, and then go up to tasks. So here we are in tasks. All you have to do is go up to the plus sign, click on it, and drop in your prompt. I just created this one on the fly. Um, it is research and summarize the top news stories from the past 24 hours about the supermarket industry. Focus on factual recent information from reputable news sources, organize findings clearly, yada, yada, yada. I will put this um, query into the body of the uh, um, YouTube video here for you. And, and this is just an example. I really just went into perplexity and said, come up with a prompt for me. So you can make these a lot more specific. I've already created other prompts that have, you know, long lists of some of the uh, sources that I look at on a normal, you know, regular basis. So um, you can create these instructions for these tasks and make them as, as complex as you want. Um, you can also schedule these for daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. Um, I'm gonna do it once a day at, how about we set it for 7 a.m. So that's before I usually start my work day. So it should give it plenty of time. Um, I'm going to do deep research because, you know, I wanted to come up with as much uh, information as possible and hit save. And that's pretty much it. That's how you set it up. Let's run a quick example, though, here and set it for what time is it now? It's almost 930. So I will set this up for 930. Hit update. And once uh, once we hit 9.30, it should start running. All right, it just hit 9.30. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the main screen. And you might be wondering, where does the information get sent? Um, it basically just ends up in your typical place where you find all of your query information. So any any past um, you know prompts that you've put in or questions that you've asked are going to end up here. When you hover over this plus sign, this pops out. You can hit view all and we'll click on this. Since it's a deep research, it's still working. So it's already started, but um, it might take a minute for this to run its course. Um, and really, there's not a whole lot to, 
left to show you. I could show you the results of this. Oh, and here it is. We've got the uh, we've got the final results being written out as we speak, and it has links to all of these stories about the grocery industry, about Kroger announcing plans to close sixty stores, and Walmart opening its first beef facility, and and so on and so forth. So this is just basically a quick way to easily put together uh um you know a, a list of of things that you might do on a regular basis and just have them waiting there in the morning for you um it i know that gemini uh google's ai tool has this function as well i haven't messed around with it that much i haven't even really used perplexity's tasks that much um so far because i think it's maybe about a week old so if you get on top of this you're going to be kind of a ahead of anybody else uh i think most people aren't even aware of this mainly because it's not anywhere on the sidebar and you have to kind of go up here and kind of search to find it so they don't make it really obvious but it wouldn't surprise me if they do make this available uh for free um at some point and probably you know rises to a level of getting its own icon here on the sidebar at some point but um yeah here's our final report and this is just another quick way to kind of keep track of things so uh thanks a lot for watching if you have any ideas or any thoughts about uh perplexity tasks or any of the uh other you know automated features and any other ai tool please drop them in the comments um follow me subscribe to the channel um i'm up to 52 subscribers at this point and and growing every day so uh thanks a lot for all of your support and we will be back soon with more videos thanks y'all